Hello and welcome to the sixth tutorial in the SFML 2.1 series and in this part we're going to be looking at joystick events. We'll be using the source code from the third tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description to the source code so you can just go ahead and, well, download that. So, joystick events. We will actually be using an Xbox 360 controller as a joystick, but you can obviously use a real joystick if you want to, uh, or a PS3 controller, etc., as long as you have the right software. I don't know if uh, people you still use joysticks that much anymore. Obviously, you, you could program it so it works with a controller, but apart from that, uh, again, it's up to you what you want to do with it. Uh, so, what we're going to want to do is we're going to add a case. The first two cases we're going to add are if the joystick has been connected and disconnected. The case SF event joystick connected colon. Then we're going to do std cout, and in here I'm going to put joystick has been. I'm put joystick is connected. Yay! And line. Just break out of this, and we're also going to put. Case SF event joystick disconnected, and then we'll add joystick moved and whatnot after we've just tested these out. So I'm going to put joystick is disconnected, oops, face and line break. Now let's run this. Because it's an event that is being polled, the, this one here, the disconnected one, will only be triggered when it, it's already connected and then it is disconnected. So it won't just keep triggering if it's connected, I mean disconnected. So I'm just going to connect it. Just popped up, joystick is connected, yay. I was going to turn my 360 controller off. There you go, joystick is now disconnected. So the next one we're going to be looking at is joystick button pressed. And for that, let's just end this for a moment. Close this down here. And for that, we just do case SF event joystick button pressed STD C out joystick. Button has been pressed. STD and line. Now let's just break out of here. So let's just run this now. First of all, let's do connect it. See so the joystick is connected, and let's just press the button. I'm just pressing random buttons on the controller, and it is picking them up. Okay. So what we're going to look at now is adding joystick button released. So case SF event joystick button released colon std c out. I'm just going to see how joystick button has been released. Std and line. Let's restart that. So, I want to click a button, then it says pressed and released. As you can see, it's always going to say pressed first, then released afterwards, simply because I press multiple buttons, that's why that happened. So, I'm going to press four buttons, and it's pressed it four, or it's printed out pressed four times, and I'm going to let them go. That's pretty cool, though, so you can have multiple buttons connected. And click them in. And the last event that we're going to be looking at is case. Actually forgot to put a break to so sort that out right here. The last one we're going to be looking at is case SF event joystick moved. This one right here. Now I'm just going to do STDC out and put event dot joystick move dot position and line yeah there we go 
should be count is C out. So, okay, what we're going to do is just move the joystick, and it's as you can see, it's giving us values depending on where we're moving it left, right, up, and down, etc. So, yeah, that is it. Obviously, within the joystick button pressed or released one, for example, you could detect in a similar manner as we did before what button has been pressed, but that's pretty simple. And we're going to end this tutorial now. In the next part of the series, we're going to be looking at window events. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a nice day.